Hey, what is up, what you do it yourselfers? My name is Dylan, and this is Dylan's DIY Workshop. Today, I'm going to be making something pretty interesting. Now, I have a camera, as you know. I also make vlogs, if you did not know that. So, I make videos where I walk around with the camera, and I walk around, and I hold it like this. Like, if this is the camera, I walk around and talk like this. And sometimes the lighting conditions just aren't optimal, like right now. Whereas, I could have that. See how it's just a little bit better lit than it was a second ago? So, I have two of these lights right here. And basically what I want to do is I want to mount them underneath of my camera or beside my camera so that I can have proper lighting wherever I go shining right on me no matter what the background. So that's what I'm here to make. I'll show you a drawing real quick before we start to find some pieces of wood to make this. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you learn something new. Stick through to the end. I got a little surprise for you guys. Let's get on with the video. So here we have it right here. This is the Manfrotto tripod thing that I use. So there that is. Basically I'm making a block that attaches to the bottom of the camera that this can then attach to. And this block has some arms over here that I can swivel these lights on. So I can tighten this little nut down and I can have this light face this way or I can have it on an angle like this if I need it to. If it's in a smaller range, they're not fixed, they can turn. So which means I need to glue a piece of wood to the bottom of this right here on either side and then that's the first thing that I should be doing because I need time for this to dry and I want to be able to make all this at one time so I'm going to be using this 90 second epoxy to hold that on and I will find a piece of wood we will drill the hole for the nut because I'm sinking one nut right down in there so that I could tighten this nut so I could tighten this bolt into it so this bolt will go into a nut that's stuck in the light and it'll just tighten it down in whatever position you want. This isn't going to be the most rugged thing in the world, but it's definitely going to work. So wearing these safety glasses because those are super important, I found one piece and this piece is going to be, excuse me in this wire here, uh, this piece is going to be the base for all of it. So the light will go here, the other light will go here, and the camera will go in the middle. So this is the block that's going to hold everything just because it's like, it's pretty beefy, it's the right size, I've got some bolts that'll go through it. And since I wanted to keep it all kind of the same wood, the same size, same shape, I'm just cutting out of here the two pieces that are going to be attached to the light. So one of these is going to be attached to this light, the other one's going to be attached to the other light. I'm just going to cut right here in a second cross cut and then we will have two pieces just got to sand them flush on the inside where that cut and then we will have those two pieces that are going to attach to the lights themselves and we can finally epoxy those together. So the way that I let that saw slow down and stop before I pushed it back in, that's just a safety precaution with the radial arm saw because if any of these had have just touched the blade while it was spinning, it would have shot back. Number one, your safety is at risk, and number two, you can end up ruining pieces, especially when you don't have extra material to be working with. And like I said, we were just going to grab the big sander here, and it's a pretty big sander that I have here. It's 4 by uh, 30 or something like that. 4? Hold on. No, it's 4x24. I just checked it up there. I got a bunch of them hanging on the wall up there. See? Right there. So what I said I was going to do is just kind of make this parallel. I don't have a thickness planer, and when it's a piece this small, you can usually do it by eye. Especially with what we're going for here, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't stop your sander like that, it's a very bad idea. So this is the block that I've got finished now. This is pretty good looking, I think. Basically, we got this light here and this right here. It's definitely a bit thicker than that, but I wanna keep it the same consistency all the way down the length of the whole thing. And because the camera needs a wider base than the lights, it's just gonna be a little bit wider, and that's okay by me, like, that this is gonna stick out a bit past the light like that. It's not. I'm not gonna cry over it, all right? So what we want to do now is, first off, make the other one because you want to mix the epoxy once, but we're going to attach this to right there. It might be a good idea to figure out where we're going to drill the hole first and then drill the hole first because then we're not drilling right into the light if we accidentally miss. So let's do that. 
So because these pieces of wood that we're going to be mounting the lights to are dissimilar materials uh, from the lights, because the lights are plastic, this is wood, we're going to use something called epoxy. I mentioned this earlier. This is 90 second epoxy. This is just no name brand. So just go find yourself some epoxy, a two part epoxy. Uh, you can get longer setting stuff, stuff that takes five minutes, 10 minutes, a couple hours to set. The longer the set time, the stronger the bond typically is. I'm in a hurry here, so I'm gonna use 90 second. Uh, you guys will see how that holds up in my videos. One thing I did mention though, is that we're going to need to drill the holes in here before we put the lights on. And we have to do that because the bit that we're using is this spade bit right here. So the tip of this bit would drive right into the light by the time the, the bottom end back by the time the bottom piece here actually drilled the hole we need. So we're gonna end up drilling into the bench when we do this. So what you wanna do is mark out where the center is and you want this on the bottom side, so whatever side isn't going to be touching the light. So I'm going to put it on this nice smooth side here. And to mark the center, I'm just holding my fingers, I'm holding my fingers like this and I'm drawing the same line and then I flip it over and I draw the same line. So we got something like that and then we do the same here so the center will be right in the middle of that. And I'm just gonna rough, rough guess this. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. So we're looking for somewhere right about here. And that's how you rough guess the center of something if you really don't wanna measure it. But I would suggest measuring it if I were you. Um, typically when I don't measure things, I always end up regretting it after. So we'll see how this turns out. Got my trusty new drill from my dad. I got this for graduation. There we go new bit in here and what you typically want to do is clamp this down you don't want to hold it with your fingers because it could go flying out of your fingers I don't have a clamp with me right now so what I'm gonna use is just this pair of pliers and hopefully this works okay so the idea there was to not go all the way through with the bigger part the smaller part, of course, it had to because that's just the pin hole, that's the pilot hole. What we wanted to do here was make it so that one of these nuts fit in right like that. And we're also going to be using epoxy to hold this nut in here. And you could do that before or after you put this on a light, it doesn't really matter. Just the only thing you wanna make sure is that you don't get epoxy in the threads of the nut when you put it in there. You could set the depth of your drill bit if you really wanted to, but I didn't, because it's not really gonna matter. When this bolt is coming up through, it's gonna tighten down whenever it tightens down. It doesn't matter whether there's a little bit of gap there or no gap there. It's actually probably better that there's it's sunken in a little bit because that'll give it more freedom to spin on top of the other piece of wood here because it'll spin like this. All right guys, so the next step, and I'm hoping I'm not making this video too long. I'm just trying to make it super descriptive. The next thing I'm doing is I'm putting this little uh, nut in the hole that's on the bottom of this light. And like I said, when we epoxy this in, we just wanna make sure that we don't get any epoxy in the threads. Now, what we're gonna wanna do here is put it in there. And the epoxy, I've had it where I did this, and the epoxy just didn't hold because you're holding onto a circle and then a piece inside. The piece wants to spin, and it's just the epoxy holding it. So I'm trying something new this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna basically have a keyway. And so what I'm doing is I'm drilling a hole here. So this hole's gonna go right here. I'm, I'll just drill it and show you. Okay, we see how I have that right there. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little piece of maple and I need to cut a little tiny piece. This piece of maple fits in there. See how it fits in that slot? That's I use the proper size drill bit for whatever piece of wood I have. So you can use any kind of drill bit you want. Now, this is a dangerous maneuver right here, so just be careful if you're doing this. You could use a little tiny dovetail saw if you have one, but I'm just gonna do this. I'm actually gonna use a pair of pliers so that I don't actually you know, slice my hand or anything. So I'll hold this right here, and then I'm just gonna tap right there. Okay. So what I did there is I ended up splitting this little small piece off and this little small piece is just gonna go in there like this after I cut it into a little square. So to cut it into a little square, I'm just gonna brutally do this again. I'm just gonna. So grab yourself a saw, it could be any kind of saw. If you're working with a piece this small, you're not gonna wanna use a big saw. You're not gonna wanna use a power saw either. Just be careful with whatever you're doing. Take your time. You don't wanna cut your fingers. Okay, so here's the little keyway that I have. Tiny little nub. The way this is gonna work is the nut's gonna go in there, and this is also going to go in there, and it's gonna press up against one of the faces of the nut. 
so that it's in the wood and it's in here and this is also glued in there. So it'll make it almost impossible for that nut to move once we tighten this down. And right now it's already working. I will show you how to mix the epoxy. I didn't show you for this part because I knew that I was doing the nut part so I'd do it all in one. To make sure that there's not going to be any epoxy that gets in the thread, what you can do is you could just cut up a tiny, tiny little piece of masking tape, like I'm talking tiny, just big enough to cover the hole. And then put it on there, just so that it doesn't seep back up through that. You should be good. But if it kind of looks like this, what you want to do is just rip around the edges. See how I have it on there? Really hard to see, but it's right there. So now that we have that done, we're going to want to take and make sure that we have our keyway, and we're going to mix our epoxy to put it in there. I am really zoomed in on my face. So guys, I just realized just how long this video is. I'm editing it right now, my computer's like right there. And I don't want to make this like a super long video, so I'm gonna split it up into two parts, I think. It's at like 10 or so minutes, and I don't really like having videos that are like much longer than that, because they just start to get boring. So I'm gonna have this in two parts, maybe three, I don't know, I've got about a half hour's worth of footage left, and I don't know how much of that is going to uh, get taken up by me cutting out pauses and things like that. So this is going to be the end of this part one video. Part two will be up the exact same day. I'm not waiting a day to put it up. I'm like, I'm actually, I'm putting them all up on the same day. It's just, I don't want to have super long videos. So you will see part two in, it's, it'll probably be up by the time you guys are done watching this video if you're watching it right at the beginning. So part two will be right here. I will put a card right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Go on over to the next one. There will be a link in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys next time. Peace out. If you're already subscribed, please say like, subscribe, but...